Okay, first let me do my coffee. Because we all know that we need our coffee for our coffee drinkers in the morning. You know that we need that nice little boost in green uh, coffee. And I honestly can say that I don't even do it for the caffeine for the most part. I think it's just habitual. is running low and the hubby and myself included you know we start getting like okay let's let's restock now it's, it's getting bare bones so i like to restock when i see it getting low and then i just had a coffee order come in um, a few days ago This is my favorite coffee right now. The um, Caribou Daybreak. The Caribou, the Caribou Daybreak is my favorite. Um, I do love it. And I also love the, I love the Javalia. That was my first favorite that like I really, really enjoyed the Javalia. Then I moved to the um, Breakfast Blend by Green Mountain. And then caribou. So I'm enjoying all three of them, honestly. I switch between the two. And then if it's a two-cup day of coffee, I would definitely have one, you know, my daybreak, and then the other, Javalia. And then um, if it's a three-cup day, which, ooh, Lord, help, um, I will uh, do all three of them. But, yeah. So I just have to refill. Um, I, I know I have daybreak in, and I know I have my breakfast blend in and i think i have i think it was a donut shop dunkin donuts but you, you'll see let's we'll break that in um also here in this video but your girl needs her coffee early in the morning and then i'll flip you guys around in a few i am loving the blue agave sweetener instead of white sugar like my hubby he's also a creature of habit i was i'm slowly becoming a new creature hey okay i'm a new creature in christ jesus and and my my eating habits and my health habits are changing as well hey so um a friend of mine told me about just adding this to my coffee instead of the white sugar and or the cane sugar because like she's really, really into health um, items and eating healthy foods as much as possible, trying to eliminate processed foods as much as possible and things. But, you know, you everything in moderation, but some things are just toxic, like 
I don't know what the FDA and all those people like they just be letting all kinds of stuff go into our food where there are different foods in other countries that are banned because of the ingredients and things but they just let any and everything through it here it seems it's just mind-boggling so we have to be advocates and and fight for our own health because no one's coming as the saying goes no one's coming for you no one's going to get you motivated no one's going to make you do what you know you need to do so sometimes you have to encourage yourself to get up and do the things that you're supposed to do and i know i am one of my weaknesses is i am a procrastinator and i freeze sometimes like i will do everything and then sometimes i will just literally leave everything alone um so you know you have to start doing the work start doing the research for yourself and i'm just getting my oat milk out because that's what i use now i try not to use this creamer unless that's the only thing i have and or the dairy cream is because y'all know that i'm not really doing dairy as much like I, I eat pizzas and i still eat cheese and stuff but um i'm trying to eliminate as much as possible i'm just not ready to give up those things just yet you know be patient with me but um and i still feel good praise god like i still feel good but you have to tweak your lifestyle and your eating habits your diet you gotta tweak that so I literally, um, which one no, okay. Um, started really trying to make adjustments and changes for what I needed. And just little small changes that I can live with is doable. I don't want to jump all the way off the cliff all at once because I know I won't stick to it. I'll go back to my habit. And that's just, it's a process. So, you know, for those out there who are somewhat like me, that um, are creatures of habit and want to make changes. And, you know, first it's in your head. First, you no, know, first you're told about it. Like make the changes, make the necessary changes. Then it's in your head to do it and you really want to do it. And then... You try to go out and you do it. You do your research and you try to make little tweaks and adjustments here and there. That's a good thing. Keep it up. Good morning, wonderful people. Hey, hey, everybody. So I am in the kitchen today. I have been here for a couple of hours. Um, just like trying to gather my ingredients. Sometimes I will wake up early in the morning around 6, 6.30 and start my baking. But today... Um, I guess the sister was tired and I just had to um, sleep in a little later and I did not get up in time. But um, so I did uh, happen to do like two pans of brownies and this one is like half peanut butter swirl and the rest are just this half is triple chocolate and this full pan is triple chocolate. And so um, that's what I'm doing today. I had a um, nail appointment, but I had to reschedule that to uh, Monday until Monday. And then I also have a hair appointment today. So I'm going to pop back in when I get in the car and I'll take you guys with me for the hair appointment. This has been a long time coming. I have not really been keeping up with my hair appointments. I've been self-treating at home. And of course, you know, because of all the pandemics, you know, uh, situations and things, but the world is opening up and has been opening up for a while now, but I just have been treating my hair at home and now I'm going back to my beautician and she's going to help me get my hair back on track. Now I have been doing good with my nails. I've been consistently going and treating myself to get my nails done, which this is a little part of self-care that I truly do like. I really, really like getting my nails done. Um, I believe these are all my nails now. I started off with the tip, but I believe he cut them down. Every time, um, <clears throat> every time I go, I have him trim me down because I don't really like long, long nails. And so um, I get it cut down. Uh, let me turn you guys around. 
All right, so I'm here. And oh, this is the uh, morning of my hair appointment. So I'm about to, it's um, 1048 now. So I, you know, I got a few items baked. I'm going to uh, do my cakes when I come back and also get my dinner prepared for my family so we can eat today. And today is salmon Saturday, unless the hubby wants to do something different. Um, the day was supposed to meet us with the pool company coming out to uh, plaster, like clean, drain the old rain and water collection and um, clean plaster our pool, coat our pool. And then they're, they're gonna start filling our pool up. I think they said it's gonna take three days to fill the pool up. But today it has been met with raining. So I'm assuming, cause they have not showed up that, you know, the rain had deterred the, pro the uh, program. So now we have to wait again. And summer's almost over. So, I mean, I know things don't go according to plan, but I really am trusting God that we'll get at least a good week or two um, or three out of the new pool. And then we'll close it up probably late September, early October. Um, and, you know, so the little lady can just enjoy it with her one of her little besties because um, they're waiting and they're so excited. So I know that we'll be able to at least enjoy it a few times and I really want her to have it. But anyway, so that's, I just have a quiet Saturday for the most part. Um, I'm doing the, my hair. I have laundry, I always have laundry going. Uh, the house is pretty clean. Me and the hubby tackled it last week. No, we tackled it Monday. When do we have off? Whatever day we had off, I think it was Monday. We um, went around the house and cleaned and really deep cleaned and pulled stuff out and really, you know, got into some areas that are um, neglected because you don't really get a chance to concentrate on that. You know, most times you surface clean and then sometimes it requires a deep clean. But we really did a deep clean. We took stuff to the laundromat, like our rugs and all of that. So um, we did that. He did the bathroom for me because normally I clean the bathroom at least every day. So it really wasn't a hard, hard task because I really do try to wipe up um, and surface clean every day. Um, but yeah, so that's that. But yeah, I don't really have much going on. Just drinking my coffee. And again, as I was saying about the um, Blue Agave Nectar, and currently I'm using the Kirkland's brand from Costco. It's really good. So I'm gonna add that to my stash because I do like it. I like the taste and this, um, product can go into so many things. I drink it even in my tea. I drink it in my tea. And then I have not yet uh, added it to any type of iced tea or um, lemonades or anything like that. But um, I want to try it. And then I also want to try it in my baking. So one day, as I've done in the past, I'm going to do like a test kitchen day and test some recipes out using alternative sweeteners and things because I also uh, bake a lot for people with diabetes. And I just feel like I need a recipe that will help them enjoy, you know, a homemade baked good, but also not be so damaging on their health, you know, with their whatever condition they have. I think that I can, you know, uh, alter one or two ingredients in my cake especially is not good for me, like the white sugar that's over processed you know sugar and i can kind of substitute that for certain things so i'm going to do a test kitchen i'm going to continue to do my research i have a few pieces of research that um is directing me that i this is what i can do and this is the direction that i can go in so i'm going to do that as well but yeah so i am Sorry, I look, well, I just woke up, you know, well, a few hours ago. I just woke up like around um, eight something. I think it was like eight o'clock instead of six. Yeah, because I was about two hours behind. And um, no makeup yet. I just washed my face, brushed my teeth, and that's it. But I'm going to get dressed soon because it's 11 o'clock and I need to leave here by 11.30. And then... Um, go to my hair appointment and I will show you the new me 
when I come out, y'all, on the other end, yeah, it's nothing like a little bit of self-care. It's nothing like it. It's not really even a luxury anymore. Like, you have to self-care. Self-care is a necessity. I keep saying that. And I tell all my ladies that, you know, it is. It's a necessity. And we have to find little pockets in um, places where we can get some peace, some serenity, and just breathe, exhale, and some of our stress go, goes away um, with things that we enjoy doing, quiet times, reading a real book, you know, just connecting from your digital device and just sitting in a room that you like, maybe a room that gets a lot of sunlight. Like for me, it would be my back room or my sun room gets a lot of light and it just makes me so happy to sit and absorb that light to listen to either some um, scriptures being read or some music some jazz some instrumental hymns things of that nature like it's just nothing in the world and then just to reflect on you know what you have the good in your life the blessings in your life how to be a better you every day you know um, what progress you've made in your life, what goals that you said you wanted to do, how close are you, you know, to those goals that you accomplished at least one, things of that nature. Like those moments make me feel whole and make me feel complete. In addition to, you know, again, communing with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, in addition to meditating and reading God's word, those things give me comfort. They give me joy. And then they also bleed over and run over into the times where I'm not sitting in the quiet and peace and serenity. And I can, it's almost like a reserve. So that that's what I'm trying to say. Like you have to do things um, in your moments and in your present. So when those moments pass and become the past, you can kind of... Um, pull off of the strength and the peace and the comfort and the the, uh, the confirmation and all of the things that you have experienced in those moments, you can use that strength to get you through the current moments that you're going through. So honestly, and it, you know, it's that deep, but it ain't that deep, but it's just that practical too. Those, those are practical moments where you need, and then you need to also know how to just go to your place, go to your closets, your secret places, and find your peace, find, you know, your serenity. Um, so you can bring yourself back down from whatever the world is throwing at you or whatever life is throwing at you, you know, because some things are just a natural occurrence and because of the state of the world that we're living in. That's why we're not supposed to be too attached to this world because we're not really supposed to be attached at all and wear it loosely wear this world loosely because we're not meant to stay here so we can't get so sucked into you know drama or things that's going on in the world where we lose our focus and take our eyes off of God you know so that's our main goal is to keep our eyes on Christ Jesus that's what we're supposed to do and not let this world overcome us but yeah I was ranting but I think somebody needed to hear that because they did <laughs> If it wasn't just me, I needed to hear that. Amen, Rosa. But um, yeah, so okay, I will see you guys at my hair appointment. All right, guys. Cheers.
Yes. You deserve it. That's right. And you don't look like what you've been through. You deserve it. You deserve it. Sing that. Sing this that. Yes. Amen. 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 Yep. For you. It's for Amen. you. Thank Him for His divine healing. Yes. Thank you Protection. Savior. All yes. that. Okay. Thank He's you that attention. you're still in your right mind. Yes. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you that you seen 53. I know that's right. Yes. We're gonna turn it around at 35. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> this this right? Where? Where? Right? Where? Right? Thank you for life. Beautiful. Thank you for life. Thank yeah. you for today. Thank Even you. just for waking so up. So beautiful. Yeah. Go ahead. We're going to And this is sparkling cider, people. Y'all know how I do on my channel. Me, and Rhonda, 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 birthday, happy birthday. To the Lord for the opportunity to celebrate. I know that's yes. right. Yes. Celebrate birthday. Yes. And we really just thank you, God, for sharing coming through the door. Yes, yes. Lord. How God just yes. blessed her. Yes. yes. It's just so cool. Her dad's going to be so wonderful. Yes. 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 Here's to life. Here's to life. Your birth year. Yeah. Your birth year. God bless. Yep. Many, many more. Blessings and favor be upon you. Blessings and favor, thank you. Blessings and favor be upon you. Blessings and favor be upon you. Blessings and favor. I love her Blessings and favor be upon you. Yes. Yes. What's she doing? You crazy. I like that. No. Crazy. What's she doing? Let's go showing off. <laughs> our nine drinkers, we don't know. So you see right. how I didn't even know it wasn't what it was. Yeah, I'm a novice. Yeah. I, well, I like you. Yeah. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, we are having a ball up in here. The hair, the, the hair experience is truly that. The hair experience. Okay. All right. We are having a ball up in here. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love you like la 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 la. guys so i am out of my hair experience because it truly was a hair experience and i am in the same complex but i'm just gonna go and pick up i ordered three beef tacos and um i heard from the ladies a few of the ladies inside that this place right here has really good food and so i'm going to try the tacos here you go that's a clearer picture of it it's still raining so i'm all pin curled up so I, i'm not even going to show you guys my hair because it doesn't even look like anything i'm pin curled up because it's raining and i'm still natural so yeah but i will pop back in when i get to the house and we i'm gonna um, share with the hubby and the little lady i ordered three so each of us will have one just to do a taste test just to see if we like it and if we do this will be a spot for us all right so this is what I ordered from the new Mexican place that I just discovered or was told about. So this is the um, beans, this is the rice, and then these are the three beef, um, Angus beef tacos with bunches of cilantro, which I love. And then there's sauce, but it looks so good. And then they have the limes on the side. Of the camera I'm pin curled up 
so there's nothing really special to see I'll try to um, insert video or photos maybe tomorrow I guess if it turns out nicely I'll insert <clears throat> but um, the, the main thing is that I'm all washed up conditioned I have some um, like a little bit of treatment in my hair and I'm trimmed she trimmed my ends really nicely so hopefully that will allow me to wear my styles a little better and I can kind of do uh, my hair and not be so frustrated but <clears throat> the reason why I pop back in and while I'm back in the car or the reason why I'm back in the car is because I have my little guest with me who, who are you <laughs> I got the little lady and what what are we doing today where are we going we're going to get boba for the first time okay boba and I guess it's called bubble tea or whatever bubble drinks or bubble mango smoothies all that stuff the little bubbly thingies that are at the bottom of these drinks that are all the rage right now and for all of you um, guys if you have children who play Roblox um, they might know about um, Boba Cafe okay which you can get a job there in Roblox which I work there as a barista mm -hmm. so like you at so we like put milk in it and um fruit? then we put um we could put fruit in there if you wanted to and like we put flavoring in mm -hmm. then mix it in the blender we add the um what type of boba you want because there's different flavored boba okay and we put the bubbles in and we also have more than just boba like you can get ice cream there mm -hmm. some hot chocolate oh, nice. um coffee any type of coffee mm -hmm. um latte espresso cappuccino uh, you know mm -hmm. and then um popsicles cupcakes mochi all right cafe and, come on cafe and um what was the other one so there was mochi oh macaroons oh yes different macaroons. flavors mm -hmm. we got cookies and cream macaroons mm -hmm. and stuff and like ice cream popsicles all right so all of that nice so we're on a hunt for this bubble beverage boba is what they call it on roblox um when and i they went to call it in real life boba okay but when i went to search it it just kept coming up as bubble yeah because you can call it either boba either one okay. or bubble tea oh okay so yeah boba aka bubble tea so we are on our way to go try this for the first time we're so we will the Christian and yep and so we're going to i guess bring you guys along as well and show you how um, we like I it now. I think I've gotten old. I look older in this video. Oh, geez. Anyway, so if <laughs> any one of you have had boba bubble tea and have tried it before, because I know it comes in a matcha, you can get it in coffee, mango, you can get it in all types of flavors. If you have tried this boba tea, let us know in the comments. My friend says it's it's really good okay well i'm excited i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it with my my little lady and also my dad said he would get me more tomorrow tomorrow okay so you're gonna have it two days in a row so she's gonna become a boba pro <laughs> so we will let you guys know how it tastes and all we'll bring you along for the experience so i'll try to turn the camera back on when we try it it's literally so hard because i have to bend over in order I know, but I want you to stay in your seat though, so I'm going in the video right now. I we'll am. be back, guys. All right. I am in my seat See you. Okay. But what else? Do you have anything else to say? See you when we get to the mall. Peace.
Till we get to the car to try our mango sherbet pearl. Oh, look at the doggy and our kiwi sherbet pearl. All right, guys. Okay, guys, we are back and we have our boba sherbet I, smoothies. I got kiwi. Kiwi? All right. I don't have an answer for that. Here, wipe your hands off. Oh, copyright. Yeah, there we go. So we are going to, and I like how they um, seal them. Can we just put the um the straw right through? Oh, so the boba can come through. Okay, so this is a huge straw right here. Mm -hmm. you, did you taste? This is good. It's not sweet. I don't like mine. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it's refreshing. All right, that sip was a little better. But it's not um sweet at all. Let me try yours. Mm hmm And these are like no pearl seeds. It's, it reminds me of like passion fruit. Mmm. And I like yours better. Boba doesn't have that much taste. No, it doesn't. It's like really gummy. The drink is very much delicious. Mm-hmm. I almost don't like the consistency. What do you mean? It just reminds me of like gummies that you can't, you're chewing and it's not going anywhere. You can swallow them and stuff. Oh, okay. You can swallow them. Yeah, you and can. then the Thanks. taste reminds me of licorice. Mm -hmm. Don't it taste like licorice peanut? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what it reminds me of, licorice. Okay, so there you have it. Our review of Mine these isn't bad. Boba Sherbert drinks. Um, mine, the mango fruit. Um, bo is it Baba or Boba? Boba. Boba. Um, is okay. I don't like the beads because they just remind me of really slimy, overly chewy fruit juice. They have a 
a taste of like a black licorice or a um, anise flavor. They put me in a mind of anise, the spice. And I, I, try, like I chewed it. one, I, well, chewed, chewed a few. I tried to swallow them and it feels like it's stuck in my throat. So I'm going to drink from the top surface so I won't keep sucking these up. <laughs> yeah, mine's just perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Like I can swallow them without having an issue. Mm -hmm. I really like it. So I probably will come back and get the kiwi. Mm -hmm. Definitely not the mango because like it's I tasteless. Tried it. It's not sweet at all. But all right, guys, that is our review. Get the kiwi. It's really good. Get the good. kiwi. It is good. It has sweetness to it. It does. It has sweetness to it, but the mango has no sweetness to it. And um, can I have a, a paper towel or tissue? I don't. I have tissues, but I don't have a paper towel. Yeah, because I need it to wipe. Um. My... All right. All right. Well, happy Saturday to you guys. Any last minute things? Last. Nope. But go to Dr. Mr. Wish, Mr. Wish and get the kiwi. <laughs> the kiwi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the kiwi is good. The mango is refreshing but not sweet at all. And it really doesn't even taste like mango, honestly. It's a little bit, you could um, taste some of the mango chunks that are down at the bottom, but it really doesn't taste I'm like glad mango. I got what I got instead of getting what you got. Mm hmm. Well, had you picked mango, I would have picked something different. So that way we would know, you know, what flavors are. But you are chose not. first on what right. you wanted, so. Mm-hmm. I, I was like, the kiwi sounds good. Mm -hmm. I know that I actually like it. Yeah, I mean, you made a good call. You made a good call. Yeah, I could probably um, go home and... Oh, thank you. Add my own sweetener to... To the um, mango but yeah I'm not a fan of the mango fruit sherbet uh, pearl tea or pearl smoothie I think that's what it's called the mango fruit pearl smoothie which is the boba inside so yeah that's it's refreshing though especially on a hot day I, I can see where it would be really refreshing, but I just can't get over the texture of the beads, the little pearls. And like I said, when I, I chew them, they're too slimy for me. And then when I tried to just straight swallow them, they got stuck in my throat chest. So that's a no for me. It's a yes for me. <laughs>